Thank you for being with us this week. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the Senior Pastor of Abundant Grace Church. For prayer or information about our church and ministries, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title this week is Meditation. Our scripture will be from the book of Psalms 119 and verse 27. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts, so shall I talk of thy wondrous works. My beloved, the reminder remarkable 119th psalm with its 28 verse stanzas is the unique song of the word of God containing 176 testimonies or prayers concerning God's word one for each verse eight times the word meditate or meditation is used indicating the importance of this practice in relation to the scriptures in our text this word is translated talk but its basic thrust is to exhort us to meditate on the wonderful works of God God once we understand the way of his precepts. The other seven references to meditation in this psalm are as follows. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. That's verse 15. Princes also did sit and speak against thee, but thy servant did meditate in thy statues. That's verse 23. My hands also will I lift up to thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statues. That's verse 48. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. But I will meditate in thy precepts. That's verse 78. Oh, how love I the law. It is my meditation all the day. That's verse 97. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. That's verse 99. Mine eyes prevent, in other words, anticipate the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. That's verse 148. There is, of course, my beloved, a counterfeit form of meditation. For example, so-called transcendental meditation and other forms of mysticism, not to mention useless daydreaming. These forms of meditation involve clearing one's mind of all subjects and allowing the mind to wander, and this is dangerous. In contrast, true meditation involves pondering with awe and thankfulness God's wonderful word, his ways, and his works, in connection with prayer and the study of the Holy Scriptures. As an exercise of the mind, as well as of the spirit, it is a great blessing and most pleasing to God. So my beloved, if you are not meditating on the scripture, please start today. And in doing so, you will find a newfound, deep relationship with God, and you will have more of an understanding about Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for this brief teaching. Thank you for showing us that we need to meditate on your word every day, that we may draw close to you and have a greater understanding of your plan and purpose not only for us as Christians, but for all mankind. And we pray this in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a great, wonderful, and prosperous week in the Word of God.